everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today's makeup tutorial that I'm going to do for you is from the Burberry London Fashion Week show. Um, it's a brown smoky-esque eye. I am going to use some of the Burberry products, which I have got here. Unfortunately, they're only available in Harrods, um, so not great for everyone, so I will give you alternatives as well. But I think, as I'm doing the Burberry show, it's only fair that I use their products, or some of them at least. Right, let me get started. Okay, so I've got a little bit of the Burberry foundation on the back of my hand. I'm then going to use a Real Technique stippling brush and really work that into the skin. I've just moisturised my skin and I actually used a little bit of Embrylease. Now these products smell amazing. They remind me of being young. I can't put my finger on what the smell is. It's like Parma Violets. So good. Once I've done the foundation, I am going to use a little bit of concealer. I've got quite dark circles under my eyes at the moment from my sleepless nights with Harry so I am going to use a MAC Pro um, palette from Pam in London and I am going to probably use this colour here and this one mixed together tiny bit under my eyes to counteract the blueness that I have so I'm just going to run that just softly under the eye I'm then going to go in with a little bit of concealer and I have got a Studio Finish concealer. This one is an NW20. So I'm going to take that out of there and put it on the back of my hand as well. And just blend that over the top. So it will take that pinkness away, but the pinkness is going to block out the blueness. I'm going to run that just through my brow bone slightly as well. And then I'm going to leave the skin and move on to the eyes. For the eyes, I have got a paint pop from MAC. This one's called Quite Natural. I'm going to take a Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush, pop that on there, and then just push it over the eye. All the way underneath the eye as well. And it's quite thick under the eye. Now this is the makeup that I wore all the time when we were in LA. In, I can't speak. This is the makeup that I wore all the time when we were in LA. So it's funny that um, I then looked at the look and it was all fashionable. So I'm just using a 217 to buff that outwards a little bit. effortless smoky eye. The great thing about using a paint pot is it will seal. It may crease a tiny bit but this look isn't meant to be perfect as you can see from the eye. Shadow not being blended perfectly, it being quite thick underneath. Two one seven again, just to buff the edges. I'm then going to take a Burberry eye pencil. This one is in Midnight Brown, O two, and I'm going to run that just along the top lash line. And then get myself a Mac two three nine. Buff that in slightly. 
not too much it doesn't need to be super perfect this look it's kind of all about the imperfect perfect so only on the top line So that could be um, Teddy, if you prefer to use a Teddy eye pencil. I'm then going to take a um, Burberry eyeshadow. This one is Talk Brown number no. 7. Beautiful colour. Very similar, I would say, to Brun from MAC. I'm going to use my 217 again and take a little bit of it and just run that along the lash line. It will cling to the product, so you don't want to use too much of it just to give a little bit of depth along the lash line I'm also going to use that colour through the brow too I want to take that underneath the lash line as well with the same brush, I don't want to use a thin brush I want to make it messy so all the way under the eye too And if you want to see the look that it's taken from, you can have a look on our blog and the picture will be on there. Um, just Pixie with blog. I'm then going to take a little bit of Clinique uh, Lash Doubling Mascara. Pop that all over. On the bottom lashes too. Now also you can hopefully, hopefully see why I use the um, colour corrector under my eyes. Because the eyeshadow was going so deep it can look almost too dark in here as well so I had to put a little bit of light through the um, bags of my eyes so that they didn't look too dark. Okay now for the brows. I'm going to use the same eyeshadow from um, Burberry and I'm going to use a MAC 226, no, 266 and the brows are really thick. They're really dark and they're really thick. So all I'm doing is getting my baseline and then using my 266 to just pull upwards. Okay, next I'm just going to powder the skin down a little bit and I have just got a Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to tweak away the shine from the skin. Just through the back of the cheeks I'm going to add a tiny bit of colour and I'm using uh, Copper Glow number 2 from Burberry. Tiny amount because it doesn't even look like she's got anything but otherwise my skin will look too boring. Easy as that, nothing really at all. I want to add a bit of texture to my skin as well, so I'm going to get a little bit of Pearl um, Cream Colour Base from MAC 
and I just want to put it on the back of my hand so I get rid of most of it from my finger and then softly push it on the top of the cheekbone so it's not disrupting the makeup but it just gives a bit of a sheen just want to blend that tiny bit there just need to add a little bit of texture to my dried up skin okay and then last on the lip I am going to use a little bit of this Burberry lipstick and this one is called number 26 nude cashmere I want to show you something else as well actually before I put that on look how nice the packaging is magnetic <sighs> pleasures but not I didn't want to show you that anyway I wanted to show you this um, you can get glossy boxes. I don't know if anyone's heard of them before, but if you go to glossybox.com, every month they do a new box and it has products in in sample size basically. Um, it's ten pounds, and this month's was the Harrods limited edition one, which I have to show you. Normally I wouldn't show these, but um, I'm excited because inside they have lots of little bits for you. There's um, some skin perfector things there. What are these, Sam? Oh, they're samples of skincare. So samples of skincare. There is a sample size extra firming body cream from Clarins, which is quite a good size. That's a bit bigger than sample. Really. I would say that's bigger, and that's that retails at thirty. £2.50 anyway, so you're actually making money. There's a nice little Fendi um, fragrance in there. Um, I big... love I love it. It's Sam's loving it. We, I had it on earlier. It's really nice, that size. I would never have tried it, actually, but um, actually smells really good. And then you get a little hair... Um, hair serum there. But what I love is tiny weeny little Burberry lipstick and it looks exactly the same as the big one oh, pleasure it's got all the same detail on it I just love it so I, I just want that, I want that Ojean hair serum you want it the Ojean hair serum you can have that and I'll have the lipstick just because I think it's so super duper cute so that's why I had to show you that just for the cuteness of it but I'm going to use number 26 and I'm just going to really softly pop it on and then just gently rub it through the lips. Doesn't look like they're hardly wearing anything. And that's basically it on the look. It's so easy, hardly any products and um, I think it's really pretty. Let me take my hair down. I have to wear my hair up when I do a video because it's such a mess. Otherwise, <coughs> so there you have the finished look. I hope you've enjoyed that. Have a lovely day, people, and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.